Oh yeah, buddy. Found my first major find of the century. Look at this. My first gold nugget, buddy. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? Joey again, Vegas D-Tech. Another uh, D-Tech video for you. Decided to come out of here. It's a nice, beautiful day. Jumped on the Bergman. Loaded up the old uh, Equinox action. And uh, hitting this lovely little park in my neighborhood here in Green Valley. Looks pretty much wide open. Now the only thing is, man, I screwed up. I only brought one battery with me today, so it's probably going to be a quick little video. Hopefully I don't run out. And uh, let's get out there and see what we can get. So guys, today I went out here and I said I was not going to hunt in multi-frequency. Today I decided to come out and just hunt in uh, frequency number four. And never in my life have I come out to this park and just right out the, out the gate using four, hit this many bottle cap tops. Yeah, in, 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 a, in a four frequency, these bottle caps r rang up like uh, anywhere from 28 to 40. Really weird, man. I've never dug bottle caps like this. So we're going to keep pressing on, see what we can find. Frequency four today, guys. So guys, I find this interesting, right? Playing around in frequency four. This area right here, check check out how this detector sounds with just frequency four. That's in a single frequency, right? And then we put it in a multi. Check out what this thing sounds like in multi. Like multiple frequencies are being shot into the ground. It's hitting multiple targets and sending back multiple signals back and you're getting all of this. Weird, man. And then you go ahead and go back into a single frequency. And just like a single frequency zones in on one target that it finds, uh, gets the conduct conductivity reading, bounces it back up to you in a single frequency, and you get that one little chirpy sound. And you, like I said, and, and then run that thing in multi. Listen to that. Multiple signals going, multiple frequencies going into the ground, multiple frequencies hitting different things, and reporting that all back, and you're getting machine gun action oh yeah buddy found my first major find of the century look at this my first gold nugget buddy yeah now, i don't even know what it is dude it's something that looks like gold it rings in oh man It rings in a number eight. What is that? Eight, ten, thirteen, some crap. What is this, dude? I don't know, just a big old. Uh, man, what why why can't I just have a piece of gold, man, like this? Go home and wash it out and just pretend that that was a nice big brick of gold, huh? Hey guys, I found something interesting and I have watched one of the episodes where Jeremy confirmed the same situation with the Equinox. When it's in multi-frequency mode, it tends to like to give you multiple tones that can sound confusing at times and make it very frustrating to try to pinpoint an item. Like right now, I have it in multi and if you listen to this, You hear how it, how it, how it tries to give you multiple tones it's like right I noticed that in single single frequency 
a lot of the times your detector will sound like it's not even on and you got to run it like over your shoe in order for it to come back on to detect the you know the eyelets in your shoe but what i've done here is like if you listen to that it just sounds too noisy because i feel like in multi-mode the detector is trying to do too much it's trying to send too many signals into the ground and it's de it's detecting too many little things all around and coming back and you're getting all that blah, 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 blah. so what i try to do is i try to shoot it into a single so when i shot this thing down here like let's get it out of multi and go to single nothing in four nothing in five It's starting to come back in 10. You see what I mean? You're not getting the, you're not getting the sweep where you're getting the and you get that in a multi. Go to 15. See, I can, I can pinpoint that in a single frequency. So guys, if you are having a situation with the Equinox where in, in multi-frequency you're getting that, I know, I know time and time again it's made my hunts less effective because I'm walking over stuff because it sounds like trash. I'm starting to reteach myself to just shoot it into a single mode. And in this situation, 15 will allow me to pinpoint the target to just one sound. Cause that's all you want to hear is blip, 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 blip. You don't want to hear a blah, 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 a blah, 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 a blah, 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 a blah, 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 blah. Hey, Mind Lab, these Equinoxes, they love to give you multiple tones. It wants to give you tones for every little thing and it just gives you the R2. So give that shot, give that a try if you guys are finding frustrations and pinpointing in multi. Now guys, here's a situation where multi-frequency actually helps you, okay? Running in a single frequency, listen to this target right here. What is that? Blit, blit, blit. Sounds like trash, right? Frequency four, five. I'm getting a one way gloop, gloop, gloop. Garbage, right? Here's frequency 10. Again. Gloop, gloop, gloop. One way garbage, right? 15. Fifteen is starting to clean up. Let's go into multi now. Now listen to how this sounds in multi. Look at how that cleaned up so nicely, man. From all those glippity glippity sounds that I was getting beforehand to this. Oh, that's when that when the algorithm actually works and the right frequencies have hit on a target. Oh, that's the sweet juice right there, buddy. Last uh last signal of the day. 3031 1 inch down. Thirty thirty one should be a should be a juicy quarter, right? Yes, indeed, another juicy quarter, guys. My battery is at two percent. I'm gonna try to get over here and get a quick wrap up for you, man. I'm having a great time out here. I'm not finding much, but just money. Um, but man, have you ever guys had a day like that where you come out to the park, you're having a great time, man. I mean, you and your detector are vibing. You're not finding all, you know, the most create, you know, the greatest amount of gems, but you're having a wonderful time at the park anyways. That's today, man. I really hate to leave, but, uh, as you can see, it's starting to get really dark out here and, uh, got the soccer moms all out watching their kids do the soccer situation. I, I'm in the, I'm actually in the middle of two of them. So I don't want to crowd these guys, so I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, cut out of here. 
and we're gonna do a quick little closeout for you guys for the day all right so stay tuned alrighty guys so this is the wrap up with the two percent that I have left on my battery uh, you guys ever have a wonderful day where you're out at the park and you're having a wonderful time You're not really finding the stuff that you want to find but nevertheless the stuff that you do find is enough to keep you happy Well, that was the day that I had today. I'd like to stay out here some more, but I really can't because I got all these uh, Soccer situations going on out here But I'll show you exactly what it is that I did find So we're starting up here. We're looking at about I would say about five dollars in coinage alrighty guys so I tried to close this thing out at the park and I just couldn't do it because my battery died so I had to bring you back here to the house and uh, we're gonna do the crap up not the wrap up the crap up because pretty much all I found was crapola today so let's check it out This is pretty much all of the uh, the coinage action that I found today, which is around, I would say it's around five dollars. Some kind of a some kind of a weird token here. I don't even know what this is. It feels heavy. It does say I don't know what it says. Some kind of a dollar. It says dollar something, whatever. So anyways, I got all that coinage action. And then this is the nonsense that I found. Dude, running in four, running in four uh megahertz or kilohertz, I'm sorry. I found all these damn bottle caps were coming up out of the ground. Yeah. And it was actually hitting hitting on it and giving it a good a good target ID, man, but I never run. I never hit bottle caps like this, but running it in four kilohertz, all these bottle caps came up. Then I got, of course, all these crusty zinkins, the stinkins. Of course, what would a day be without pull tabs, right? You gotta have the pull tabs. And then, of course, I found my lovely Indiana Jones gold, whatever the hell this is. I don't know what it is, man. It's heavy as a padlock. I wish this thing was a big old honker of gold, but no dinero. A bent key and a piece of a bike locking cam whatever and uh, that's the wrap up or the crap up so you uh so you might want to say it or call it sweet so anyways man I hope you guys had fun coming out with me to the park today uh, I just wanted to get out, you know, girlfriend went to work, it was my day off, I was like, okay, what can I do? I got to get some more videos put up for you, so I decided to just jump on the Bergman, throw the uh, detector on the side and head right out there, and get to it. Uh, detector ran well in multi, it ran well in single, and I'm just doing a fluctuation between the two to see which one works better, and like I said, what I found out, guys, is that if I'm getting a lot of that blah, 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 that, that that confusing multiple tones coming in and I'm not really being effective, what I have tended to do is start cycling through my individual frequencies, stay, stay over the target, and just start cycling through the single frequencies to where it'll pinpoint, all right? So if you are running your coil and it's going blah, 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 that used to piss me off with the Equinox so much. I'm like, dude, it's trying to tell me too much. And that's in multi. Shift it down into a different frequency and keep sweeping until that's, that that uh, signal is isolated and you can pinpoint and then go for it. Worked out for me. And then in other situations where the tones don't sound great, I flip it into multi and the multi brings all the signals together and makes one strong pinpointing signal. Hey man, I've seen it go either way. In some situations, the single frequency is king, and then in other situations, the multi is king. All right, you gotta play with the settings yourself to see how it works out for you. So anyways, man, battery died, I, mean, I don't know what the hell happened. I, I had plenty of batteries with me, and I 
I guess in the in the rush of trying to get out there before all the daylight went away, I only packed the one battery that was in the GoPro, and that thing died, and it actually froze up on me in the middle of doing the wrap up at the park. So I had to come back to the house and do it with you. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys be well. Like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions for me, and I'll get back to you on the next video. You guys be well. Take it easy.